Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We just released a new version of YOLO V8. We now have YOLO V8.1 for oriented bounty boxes. Now we can use YOLO V8 just as you're using, like for example, detection, classification, post estimation, segmentation, and so on. Now we can also use it for oriented bounding boxes. So now we can basically just fit bounding boxes around our optics. So instead of having traditional bounding boxes, now they would actually be oriented and rotate together with our optics. This is very useful in a lot of different applications and projects. And we're going to go over the different use cases cases and projects that it can be used for throughout this video, how we can set it up and just go through the new RN bounding box YOLO V8 model. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation and let's take a look at this RN bounding boxes. If you go inside the task up here at the top, we can now go down and see we have this OBB task as well for oriented bounding boxes. We both have our detection, segmentation, classify, and also post. We have videos about all of those here in the documentation and on the Autolytics YouTube channel. But right now we're going to focus on oriented bounding boxes. This is pretty cool and a breakthrough with YOLO V8. So if you just scroll down, we can see an example for ship detection. So now we can see that we have these bounding boxes, which is oriented, so it fits the optics better, and also for the cars. So now our bounding boxes would act like rotate together with the car when it's taking a turn and so on. So this is really useful in a lot of different applications, and especially like for uh, aerial images and videos. So we have a bunch of different models, just as for all the other tasks. We have the nano, small, medium, large, and extra large models. Here we can see the size of the images, mean error position, how fast it can run, the optimized versions of them, the number of parameters, and so on. So this is basically just following the whole structure for the Autolytics documentation. So we can either use a pre-trained model, or we can go and fine tune our own R in the bounding box, the OLV8 model. Um, the one here, the, which is pre-trained, is trained on the Dota V1 data set. So this is how we can train it. We just create an instance of our model and specify YOLO V8 Nano, and then we just have a dash and OPB instead of segmentation, sec, pose, and so on. So this is really easy to use, just a few lines of code, and we have everything up and running. Then we can just call the train. We specify the, the path here to our YAML file, the number of epochs, the image size, and so on. But the most important thing when we're training our own models is the dataset format. They also have a guide for that. You can just go directly in and see that. So we have our class index. We have our XY position, XY position, XY, and XY, which is basically just all four corners of our RNA bounding boxes. So this is the format that we need to have when we're not using the traditional bounding boxes. So here we can also go in and see, we have this tab here for our data set. So RNA bounding boxes, they have both Dota V2, which is the data set that we had pre-trained the models on, and also Dota 8. So we can see that these are the aerial images, key features, data set versions, and so on. We can go in and do validation, but the most important one, and we're going to see in just a second, how can we run inference with this model? Use the pre-trained models out of the box with a few lines of code. So we can basically just take this, copy paste it into a Python script, use it in own applications and projects, and we have everything up and running. As usual, you can also go and export the model to all these different formats, so PyTorch, TorchScript, ONNX, and all those different things, depending on your use case and how you want to run inference in your own projects and applications. So that's pretty much it. We can use the exact same way as all the other different kind of tasks for detection, classification, segmentation, and so on. Then we can go in and copy paste this code snippet. I've now copied it. We can go back into our code editor, paste it in. First of all, from Autolytics, we need to import YOLO, so we can create an instance of our YOLO V8 model for our in bounding boxes. You can also load a custom model if you just specify a path to that model, but we're not going to do that in this video. So now we're just going to use a pre-trained one. With, let's go with a small model. And then the only thing that we need is basically just to throw in an image or whatever we want to throw into it, into the model, and we get the results out as a results generator. Then we can go in and extract all the results from this result variable. We have a video about that and covering everything on the Autolytics documentation. So go in and check that out. It is also pretty cool and how we can use it in our own projects and applications to control different kind of things, do counting and all those cool applications on top of it. So let's now going to see how we can run inference right now to this model here, we can just throw in an arbitrary input. So it could be NumPy array, UIL, YouTube video, video path, even just specify the index of your camera and you can run it live on a webcam as well. But right now let's just throw in this video. So we have this ships.mp4. This is an example video that I'm going to show you. So let's just play it here. This is just some aerial footage from a drone, basically just above and harbor. We're trying to predict these ships with the orange bounding boxes fitting perfectly around our optics. So this is a way better use case for RNA and bounding boxes compared to the traditional ones. So yeah, let's just take the path here. Let's go over and copy it, copy relative path. Let's throw it into our 
mod model here. So we basically just have model. So this is just a predict function. We can also specify that we want to show the results. So we're going to set that equal to true. And we also want to save our results. So there's a bunch of different arguments that you can throw into this model and predict function. You can find all of them in the documentation. So now we have everything here. We can go up and create a new terminal and just run the program here and see the results. So I'm just going to open up my Anaconda prompt, activate it, Python obb.py. Let's now run it and see the results. So now our program is actually running. We're doing inference on a video, and here we can see all the predictions that we're doing on top of these um, ships. So this is pretty cool. We get the bounding box, we get the RNA bounding box fitted perfectly around all those ships. We don't even miss our detections. We can see that we missed some here at the bottom, but the rest is actually like pretty good. And even though our camera or like a drone is rotating around, our bounding boxes is following the exact same movement. So this can be used for, for a bunch of different kind of things. It could be like for empty parking spaces, could be for harbors here with ships moving around like empty spaces and so on. But it could also be if you want to do monitoring of traffic from a drone footage or maybe just like from a top overview, you want to see like how cars are turning around and so on. So definitely check this one out. It's only a few lines of code. You can get it up and running on your own computer and you're good to go. If you have any cool ideas, throw them down in the comment section here or else I just hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy learning.